Hi, welcome back to another Archicad speed modeling quick coffee tip. I show you today in this tip how to create this window or actually any shaped window which you save into your library and can use as a window library part anytime. And we use actually the curtain wall tool for this. All right, so let's get started and see how we do it. Okay, so what I got here is uh, very simple. I just used um, a polyline, which I drew at the size of my wall, which I don't have in here is at three meter high. Okay, that's just a normal wall. I do this so I know that the window I create is fitting within this three meter high wall. This is a spline I created here and I duplicated the spline and moved it up here. It's important. I'll show you why in a moment. So let's start up with the curtain wall settings. Very simple, you know, I don't have to go through the lot. Just put in a, a system, a scheme, you know, I put in one meter by one meter and going through it, I think what's important maybe is you got to be on zero here and zero here. Okay, so let's just draw this curtain wall now and make sure up here you use the boundary first method and you click space click there you go so i've got this curtain wall now which goes along the spline very nicely have a look in 3d so that's what we got okay so very simple curtain wall with a frame glass and some mullions in between now what we do is you can select this now and you can save this as a window but it wouldn't work, but I, still, I want to show you this quickly. It's quite important. A lot of people forget this or don't know. So I can save selection as a window and I've saved the window before. Let's just over save this. So I click on this new window one, I save and it will ask me to replace obviously. So as I, I just replaced this and you can add all the settings nicely for the windows, the pens, the fills, surface, etc. Leave it as it is for me in this tutorial and click OK. All right, so it's done this window now. So if I go to this window here, the window box tool, there we go, this window looks great. But I'll show you what happened if you put this into the wall now. Window and this way. Okay, it's going 3D with that wall. And as you can see, it has not cut out the whole of the window correctly, which is not very good, obviously. So. What you have to do is before, I just delete this window again, before you do save this out, this curtain wall shape as a window, or as a door, you have to also do this. You take a slab and you put in 100 height. I have it on minus 50, uh, you could put it on zero. Let's just do that. It doesn't really matter the rest of it because what I use it for is the following. I use this to cut out the hole while saving out the window. So down here you got an ID on the classification and properties. So you go to the ID and all you have to do is you write wall hole. Okay, so we click all right. I use the space for this spline at the moment. Space for click. So I've got this slab now. I'll show you that's just a normal slab which I move now down to fit my window, curtain more window. Okay, now if you do now, select both of them like this. You've got the curtain more selected, you've got the slab selected. And this time, if we save this out now, we go here, save selection as window, and let's overwrite this again, save, replace. Okay. So if I place this window now in here, this wall hole should work now. So let's just select this, go in here, have a look. There we go, beautiful. So I think this is it's a quite neat way to do some, really, you know, any, any shape of, of window you want. And this way you can use this now. This is obviously in my library. There you go, I've got this in here and I can use this anytime in any project. All right, I hope you enjoyed this little quick coffee tip and I'll see you back next time. Bye for now.